Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland, and today we are going to be continuing our test of the Nasuni uh, filer uh, that enables uh, the use of uh, virtual file services and leverages cloud as a back end. Uh, as you probably have seen in our other tests, we've uh, showed uh, initial setups, we've showed snapshots, we've showed uh, just using the product. Uh, the, the filer is now our production server and I'm going to do something that uh, I wouldn't normally do is I'm going to on purpose create a disaster. So here you can see that we have the Nasuni filer uh, VM powered off. I'm going to go ahead and delete that VM and do a full system recovery. So that'll be what today's uh, test drive is about is, is recovering the Nasuni filer from scratch. So with that, we'll go ahead and delete uh, the VM and we'll move all the files to the trash can. And just to verify that we're not getting that thing back, we'll go ahead and empty the trash can. And it is, when that bar gets all the way over, it is gone. So uh, I have done something that uh, you normally wouldn't do, but this is something clearly that could happen if you're uh, physical server crashed or you had a disk failure or any number of things. So what we'll do now is go ahead and recover uh, the Nasuni filer. So the first thing I got to do is um, re-download the software which uh, just in the interest of time I've already done. But obviously that's very easy to do. Uh, and it's right here. And I will copy that um, back into my virtual machine uh, directory and so uh, that is uh, right here Oops, still there sorry let me delete that that's weird so we'll make sure that's deleted there we go so that is uh, now totally gone. We will copy the uh, filer back into the virtual machine directory. And just like a new install, we will uh, double click on the um, VMDK file and uh, get things launched. So we're starting up here. And we're not going to pause this uh, directory, or I'm sorry, this video. Uh, we want you to get a feel for exactly uh, how long this whole process will take. So there'll be a few minutes uh, here and there where there's some pausing. Um, and uh, just bear with us, but we wanted you to get a feel for the whole process. Now understand the limitations of a YouTube video is uh, about 10 minutes. And so uh, we have to get this whole thing done and ready to go in uh, 10 minutes. Plus, I had a little bit of an intro there. And here we just key in our old, uh, the, the original uh, settings for everything. And it goes in and configures the network for us. And with that done, we go into the uh, browser to finish our process up here. And 
here we just enter in our uh, credentials on the, uh, the SUNY cloud. And here we've uh, escrowed our keys locally. So we keep it as no. We choose the directory that has the TCP file in it. And then that gets uploaded. And we are basically back up and running. Got to uh, accept the license agreements, create our uh, new administrator username and password. And you can see over here that uh, things have started to go. And we can go back to our filers homepage. And with that, you can see that we have, here's our uh, data that's represented in the cloud. Uh, there's our production volume that we've been talking about and other stuff. You can see that we have nothing in our local cache, obviously. So what will happen is we'll actually recover uh, data uh, now as we touch it. Uh, so we'll go through and touch some of that data um, here in just one moment. Um, so that's basically it. The only thing we want to do at this point is reset, uh, is download another um, encryption file. So we download our generated keys again. That's done. So we're back up and going. So I'm a little over seven minutes in, so very quickly what I want to do is go ahead and connect to the server. It's an SMB mount for me. Uh, that's the IP address. I hit connect. Uh, we'll go ahead and log in as guest. I want to mount both volumes. We're up and going. There's our directory tree. Uh, ready to go. Uh, here's our um, uh, various backups and everything that we did on the uh, first uh, volume before we went production. And then the data volume has all of our uh, production data uh, on it. And you can see it's all right back right there. Uh, I will just quickly go into projects here. Uh, you can see that it's taking uh, a, a few seconds to generate everything because we've got uh, trees coming down and things being downloaded. But uh, just very quickly, we will go ahead and um, read this PDF file. I don't have uh, any of the applications loaded on the server here, but we'll go ahead and read this PDF file. So that's a 143K file that's got to be restored. Uh, and you can see there it is. So pretty easy to go and uh, we are totally back up and running. Uh, very impressed. I don't think disaster recovery can get much easier than that, uh, but if it does, we'll let you know. Uh, my, my compliments to the Nasuni team. This is probably one of the better recovery efforts I've ever been involved with. Again, George Crump with Storage Switzerland, uh, uh, fully recovered and back up in production.